Hey guys, how's it going? Nick or Coyote here, and today I'm bringing you guys some MW2 gameplay on the map Afghan, playing some Ground War Team Deathmatch, and I'm going to be rocking the FAMAS with the red dot and the fall camo, and this is actually a nuke. I'm going to be using the Harrier and the AC-130, the, you know, mandatory setup for getting a nuke, and um, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my channel and what you guys want to see. Um, I was actually playing some MW2 today, and... You know, I've just come to realize that MW3 is not really my game. Um, I'm still going to post it and still play it, but MW2, I think, is my game, definitely. Um, I like to go for these nukes. I have over 500 of them, and that just kind of shows that I'm really interested in this game. Um, you know, things that I can get on this game. I actually have 100 plus saved up. Um, got some double nukes. I got like six of them. And then I just have some regular nukes like this, some Team Deathmatch ones and stuff like that. And the reason that I kind of want to see if you guys are interested in stuff like this is because um, I'm going to try to be getting a show on Respawn. And I've seen that MW2 is not very much uh, posted on Respawn. So, you know, if you guys are really in interested in stuff like this, I might kind of, you know, try to look for uh, to get a show on Respawn just for MW2, stuff like this. But if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like this, you know, leave a comment and tell me you want to because, like I was saying, MW2 definitely was is my favorite Call of Duty. Uh, Black Ops is right behind it, and then MW3 is my least favorite of them all. I don't really know why MW2 is my favorite, considering the fact that people complain that there's noob tubes. But it's either, you know, you get noob tubed, you know, that's about the, one of the, you know, few downsides to MW2. Or do you deal with about 100 bad things for MW3. So, you know, I just would rather prefer to play MW2, but I'm still going to post MW3, don't worry about that. Um, I'm still going to post Moabs and stuff like that. But, you know, just leave a comment if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like this. Um, I'll bring whatever vari variety of uh, gameplays you want to see on this game. Um, you know, nukes with any gun, um, stuff like that, because nukes aren't really hard to get. I would just like to bring you the most entertaining, fast-paced ones. Because you guys are going to see in this gameplay, I like to move around a lot in MW2. Um, I, I kind of find it boring since the game's like three years old. I might as well as be as entertaining as possible. And the, the cool thing about this nuke actually is the fact that I kind of clutched it for the nuke. The AC-130 only got me six kills. And then I think the Harrier got me an extra one after I got the AC-130. So I needed like seven or eight kills to get the nuke. And I ended up clutching it, picking up the last ones with this TAR-21. And this TAR-21 is a beast weapon. Definitely probably one of my favorites of any Call of Duty. It's definitely a tie between this, the FAMAS, and the G11. Those guns were all great guns. And I just like the fact that I, I kind of clutched it for it. Um, I was playing uh, with my friend Eric, and we were just having fun. Um, there wasn't too many new tubers in this lobby, but we did get into a lot of lobbies with new tubers that actually ended up... Uh, the reason why I had to get off is because the new tubers were so uh, furious with popping their tubes out. But uh, yeah, guys, this uh, gameplay and commentary is wrapping up to end here. I'm, um, you know, I'm calling in the nuke here. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. It really means a lot. Um, you know, and also leave a comment if you guys want to see more MW2. And uh, that's basically it. So peace out, guys.